Hello, everybody, and top of the morning to you. <laughs> Welcome back to Magic and Miracles, where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna, and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Reason why? There's no such coaching program like my coaching program, and there's nobody but nobody spending as much time with and on their clients like I do. True story. All the information for me is below. I recommend two to three months in coaching with me minimum in order to, for me to go over my coaching program with you and for you to have the lasting change in your life. You need to show up prepared to work. Um, take my guidance to heart. Um, I cannot do your push-ups for you. I can just suggest and instruct what is the next step. You're never left wondering in my coaching, what are we working on? And upon completion of your coaching, you will have all the tools um, in order for you to succeed in this manifestation game. And I make it really easy for you to understand this in my coaching. And I designed this program meticulously step-by-step step, um, throughout the last eight years that I've been coaching all sorts of people um, of all walks of life. Um, and initially I was coaching off YouTube for um, seven years. I came on YouTube a year and a half ago, for those of you who are new, um, and essentially wanted to help people um, and really got irritated with a lot of misinformation out there, <laughs> which really inspired me to coach in the SP department and just talk about it because there's a ton of misinformation and a ton of um, people who don't belong being coaches in, in my very not so humble opinion. <laughs> My coaching is unlike any other coaching because um, I do it very meticulously. I go through your history. It resembles therapy, but it is not therapy. In fact, that's one of my clauses. Um, the clause one, it says I'm not th a therapist, even though some techniques I use um, resemble that. Um, I want to understand who's coming in into my coaching, your blueprint, your beliefs. I need to work on them. We process emotions associated with your past experiences, etc. depending on how much work you need to do. But like I said, minimum two to three months. And then and only then I help you establish um, a brand new life for you and man how to manifest that life, all right? So I don't start with techniques. I don't start with affirmations. We do it the way it's supposed to be done, all right? Again, if you have any questions, you can either comment or email me directly, which I prefer. Um, and if you need to book an hour before committing to me month to month, you can do that as well. Everything's on my website. Now, parenthesis here, before I get into my subject here, I need to um, update um you on some of the new uh, conditions that I included into uh, my coaching agreement, which I thought was self-explanatory before um, the development happened recently in my coaching. And those of you who are not um, up to speed, go watch my latest video about somebody um, trying to steal and claim that the my coaching program is their coaching program and started to talk like me and basically stole my intro, as it were. Um, I included a clause where it says if you do that, you essentially will be sued. That's the short of it. Um, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory that you cannot um, just steal copyrighted stuff and... Um, you know, um, intellectual property. Um, but I guess I have to now include this, um, situation in my, um, <clears throat> in my coaching agreement, as long as, um, as well as I should say, um, it states that everything's confidential in my coaching, unless, um, you become a danger to yourself. And I also felt like including, um, unless you break a law, um, and in that department, I can't help you. If you're somebody who cannot obey laws, um, I'm not going to stay silent about it. Um, it it's my moral duty and obligation to report that um, illegal activity. And that's basically pretty standard for therapy and for coaching alike. Much to my surprise, or I guess I shouldn't really be so surprised at this point, okay? I've seen a lot of really... Um, mischievous people, let's just be very polite here, liars and thieves in my life. Why should I be surprised at this point? I don't know. I guess, you know, when you deal with somebody who wants to be a coach and is a coach out there, I just expect a different level of integrity, <laughs> but um, not much too much of my surprise. I am 
a lot of people have reached out to me who are other coaches on the internet, um, basically saying that this person has copied their material as well. So basically what we have here <laughs> is a person who doesn't have a fucking clue what they're talking about and just keeps copying like a bunch of people from the internet, doesn't have an idea of her own and lies to the entire world and has fucked over many people. It's actually scary to say that, really is. And I wish I could just say her name and be done with this, but you know what? I have to be careful for my own sake um, in terms of legalities, all right? But the good news is that a lot of people who reached out to me, uh, clients, past clients of her, present clients of hers, they already know. They already figured it out. Um, and people are not so stupid, okay? They catch on to lies pretty fucking quick. And I guess for me, what I really wanted to say isn't about the money, right? Um, for the lawsuit that I will get back and this and that, even though I think it's the right thing. I think it's more about just the absolute shock um, that somebody would go these lengths to try to fool a bunch of people and think that they can get away with it. When the internet, I mean, you can find out so many different things about so many different people. And when you outright lie about so many different things, don't you think that a lot of people are going to get pissed off? Yeah, yeah, they are, you know. It would make as much sense for me as if I stood up and started like claiming Joe Dispenza's teachings are my own. That's how fucking ridiculous this whole fucking bullshit is. Everything is provable. You know, thank God YouTube has like timestamps of every recording and I keep all of my files so they're original. And as soon as you record something, it's already copyright protected. But my stuff is is definitely um, copyright protected. So it, it's just really stupid. And um, it's really sad that people like that exist, especially in the coaching department when they're supposed to help people, not fuck people over. And truthfully, it's not like I haven't given her a chance to correct her behavior, because in the beginning, when I saw what she was doing, copying me, I, I was like, if you do this, people are going to notice and you will you will fail at this. Your reputation will be ruined. She didn't listen, and she just continued on. Two months later, she's still doing the same thing. Oh, well, don't say I didn't tell you so. Sorry, but I really feel protective of people in general, and uh, I wish I could just say her name at this point. The subject of today is sending a telepathic message to your SP. So whatever the situation you may be finding yourself in today, and it doesn't have to be a romantic situation, right? I always say that. could be anybody, right? It could be family member, business partner, whoever. Um, and if you care to about this person, if you care to communicate certain things to them um, <clears throat> or make them think a certain way of you, um, or direct them to do something, whatever it is that you want, or change their mind about something. Um, <clears throat> it needs to come with desire, obviously. That's the number one step. And sometimes people misunderstand what they really want, actually, and I meant to talk about this. It really needs to come from a purity of desire, not just because you want to get back at them, all right? There's no such thing. Um, don't start with that kind of situation. Don't start with vengeance or because they left you and this and that. You genuinely have to make this want to genuinely have to want to make this happen. Okay, <clears throat> and this goes for everything. By the way, it goes for money. It goes for promotion. Goes for success in your business. Many people sometimes misunderstand what they really want. Okay, what they're really after. Ultimately, it has to bring you joy, what it is you're after, what it is you want to manifest. And that's a, that's the mandatory starting point, right? So it has to be a job you really enjoy. It has to be something that uh, someone that you would really love to end up with. It, it has to um, be a sum of money that really excites you, not just to cover your bills, not just to like, you know, make do, but that actually excites you, regardless whether you have ever gotten that sum um, in your life or not, okay? And so this telepathy needs to be charged with this vibration of desire and of love, 
okay? And I teach this in my coaching very specifically to each individual. And it's kind of like very impossible for me to go over this on my channel. And also because it's um, part of my coaching. Um, where you learn how to literally use your energy to direct it towards things and people. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain it in the form of a telepathic message. So <clears throat> it needs to be um, that you've zeroed in on a certain specific message towards them. And you need to understand that what you're thinking, what you're sending out, you have a responsibility day in and day out of the kinds of things that are going out there. Because literally that person can hear you. Even though they don't hear you audibly, they hear the vibration, so to speak. They get the vibration. Telepathically, you control the entire universe, okay? And so it, it's very important that you zero in on a certain message that you want them to get and you understand that, yes, you are that powerful, you've always been, and, and that whatever you're going to send out, they're definitely going to receive. There isn't a scintilla, there shouldn't be a scintilla of doubt in your mind. There shouldn't be any hesitation um, from you. In other words, you need to know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay. And once you send this message, you don't need to send it again and again. You need to just do it once, but to feel that you have really sent it. Okay, so this is like when <clears throat> when I discuss affirmations, if you need to um, affirm to yourself something like 10,000 times, you really don't believe it. Because if you do believe it, one time is enough. Well, right now as I'm recording this on my re recording app, it says 4444 four, 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 and it's 4 o'clock and 40 minutes, uh, 4 o'clock in the morning and 40 minutes. It's so wild. I love it. Synchronicity. I always get these things, but just recently it's been like nonstop. I mean, basically, like the other day in live, somebody asked me, what does it mean? And it just means like you're on the right path, keep going, essentially. And so uh, you need to be calm about it. You need to be in a good mood again and um, need to be relaxed about it. Now, you don't have to be sitting somewhere. You could, but you don't have to. You don't need to be lying down or anything like that. You could just be walking in the street, right? And once you have kind of like a practice around it, um, you could definitely do be doing whatever you want to do. But I think it helps in the beginning if it's quiet in the room where you are, right? Or some kind of like nice music playing or meditation music. And you essentially zero in on this person's energy, okay? You know what this person's energy feels like. You know their essence, etc. You don't have to even visualize their face or anything like that, but essentially feeling their essence, right? Their presence in the room with you. Right. So, you know, about like people who pass, like, for, for instance, I can feel my maternal grandma at will, you know, I can have conversations with her. No, it's not weird. And I'm sure a lot of you will resonate with the situation where you can literally have a conversation with the essence of the person who is no longer in the 3D. All right. So and that's more or less the same thing, I would say. And of course, they're living still in this and that, but you can summon their essence and you can send them the message of whatever you want them to, you know, to do or to, to, to command them or to communicate something to them, right? But again, it needs to come from the heart. And so you can say to them, I really want you, let's just say, I really want you to realize that what you've done is really wrong. And I really want you to come apologize to me. Okay, um, I think you know what you've done is uh, wrong. I, I, you treated me very unkind. Um, and even though in the past, let's just say you were a womanizer and you never you got away with it for, you know, whatever, um, X amount of years and this and that, I, I think you're now realizing that this is not the way to be, right? So you don't do it with judgment. You don't do it with... Um, you know, kind of like condemnation, but you do it like literally um, 
without any kind of ill feeling, but you're actually just conversing this way in a very calm, uh, your energy has to be calm, your energy has to be pure, right? So it's very important, parenthesis here, whenever you do this manifestation work, to not pollute yourself with other people's energies, right? So, and not get affected and try at, at the very least. to. It, it's a very good state to reach where you're at peace no matter what, no matter what somebody else is doing. Like, I don't get affected anymore, I had to work on this, truth be told, but you couldn't affect me with your fucking stupid um, behavior anymore. Like I may get uh, kind of like irritated on the outside, but inside my energy is like a Central Park oak tree. It's stable because I, I've done the work. I know my um, God state um, feeling and my energy. And even though like as a, for instance, this person right now, try to, um, you know, mimic me, um, try to lie that, you know, whatever, this coaching program is her own, even though she's only been a coach for like two years. She says she's been a coach for six years. It's a whole bunch of lies. And I just look at it and I laugh. And because to me, you know, people just, um, they're learning in their own path, just doesn't have to affect me, your stupidity. But you see what I'm saying? So I don't even get affected with these things on the inside because I know what I'm doing. I know what kind of energy I have. And so this is the state that you have to reach where other people's bullshit doesn't affect you. You just observe it as a kind of like um, a funny movie or whatever, somebody's funny, idiotic behavior. And um, if you care to change it, right, you have to care to change it. Like when I don't care, when I completely disengage with somebody um, and I really don't want to waste my energy or time on them, it's over for me. You know what I mean? Um, and it usually has to do with lies and um, lack of trust from my end. So, but if I really care about somebody and I really want to communicate things to them, and if there's any hope of, you know, kind of like salvaging the situation and the relationship, then these are the conversations to be had. Um, and you <clears throat> need to stay present with your God state in order to operate this person the way that you want them you know, to, to be operated. And that's not manipulation, by the way. This is just the way that you create your reality. These are, these, it, this is how you telepathically transmit, transmit these messages to people. And I've done this so many different ways. Again, you don't need to be sitting down, um, you know, in, in silence or anything like that. You can literally be having a walk, okay, in the park and have an entire conversation. Now, there's a different way of doing it, which I um, have done many times again, and it's a very uh, fun way of creating as well. I mean, you can do this many different ways, but this is one of my favorites. And the, and the trick is to overhear a conversation in your mind that you are not privy to. For example, let's just say you, you've sent this telepathic message to your SP, um, you know, please apologize, oh, not please, but you, I think you want to apologize to me. I think you're realizing what you've done was wrong, this and any other. And so now you send this telepathic message and you're assuming, you are supposed to assume, it's not just like, you know, wishful thinking, this is exactly what's happening that this person is thinking these things now. And now based on that um, assumption and knowledge, they are having a conversation, let's just say, with their friends. And you imagine this conversation, you overhear it, okay, in your mind. And so let's just say your SP is sharing with their friend and saying, yeah, you know what, I've been thinking about this and I think I really fucked up here. I think there's nobody like this person, um, and I really don't know where to start to apologize to them. Um, do you have any suggestions? What do you think I should do? Kind of deal. I've done this so many different ways. It's 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 really funny how it works. It's fun and funny and scary all at the same time. How it works. I've um sometimes I've done it unconsciously, but when I became aware of this uh, the power that it holds, um I've I've you know then trained myself to do it more consciously and you can literally overhear any conversation that you would not be able to hear so to speak, but because you're the creator of your reality, yes, you can create even those conversations that you audibly cannot hear, but you can uh, hear in quotations at a distance. 
and thus creating them. Okay, so you in other words, you never left in any kind of doubt um, with the people that really matter to you and the people that you really want to change. You never left in doubt what they're fucking doing or what they're thinking. Let's just establish this once and for all. And I know for some of you, it's really hard to hear because let's face it, some of you have, you know, work to do around your beliefs and this and that, a lot of you, right? So this is why you're coming to my channel and this and that. But the idea is that, that you, the goal is to reach this understanding of like everybody's under your spell at the end of the day. And there's no such person that you care to change that cannot be changed, doesn't exist. Again, you have to care about it, like genuinely care about it, and you have to be invested in it. But, it's, but, but at the end of the day, these kinds of situations where, you know, you engage your um, uh, energy in drama, trauma, panorama around it, rather than wasting it on that, you should invest your energy. Everything needs to be invested okay, in um, solutions, in creating something that you would prefer. You can recount that situation that you're a part of right now that's not pleasing to you till the end of motherfucking time, or you can create a solution, right? So it's, again, it's not about watching 300 million videos. It's not about any of that. Once you leave my coaching, I don't, honestly, I don't want you to watch any more videos. You, you shouldn't have to, Okay, it will be irrelevant. It will be a waste of fucking time for you. And that's the healthy kind of situation. I understand in the beginning, you know, people come to uh, these kinds of channels where they're looking for help and this and that, and they're trying to understand what's what uh, with manifestations and they get all sorts of, you know, different information sources. But after a while, you should just know what the fuck you're doing. And you should really arrive at this, um, you know, fundamental conclusion that nobody's really going to teach you anything more other than you're the god of your reality and you conduct this whole orchestra, okay? You are the magician behind it all. And so whatever it takes you or however long it takes you to arrive at this understanding, that's what it takes you. But when you do arrive at this understanding, there's nothing more to really do. You just need to live your life now. You know, you need to implement it. So in other words, if you're suffering right now, uh, that's really just an option that you're, you know, choosing for whatever reason. You can always get in coaching with me. I will explain to you how actually easy it is. And I know it doesn't sound easy to you right now. Sounds like the next level situation. Sorry, my voice went in the toilet just there. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound easy, but it is easy. Um, and I think, well, I, I'm really good at what I do because I, I do um, understand how it's done. And it's not that complicated to explain, okay? Because I've done it so many times in my life and I've mastered it many times over um, and don't need a coach of my own to explain it to me. <laughs> Not for nothing. Couldn't help myself. Yeah, parenthesis here. If you're a coach and you're in coaching, I, I think that's a problem. I think you shouldn't be coaching while you're in coaching. I think when you once you've completed your co your personal coaching, I mean, not to become a coach, but um, if you're coaching with your personal problems, you cannot be coaching uh, while you still have personal problems. You're unqualified, you know. I'm just saying, not not to say that nobody has. I mean, that a coach cannot have problems, period. But when you have like huge problems like these. You're not coach material. It's what it really comes down to. You have a lot of work to do on your own. And then maybe when you have your shit together, you should go out into the world and, <clears throat> you know, address things different differently this time around. So back to the subject. <laughs> um, it really is easy. Um, and it really is um, very simple to understand. And when it you see the effects of your telepathic um, influence upon people, upon circumstances, events, etc. It really is, um, it really becomes abundantly clear to you what you've been doing wrong and how you've been instructing. Um, because I think a lot of people don't understand how just, just how powerful they are, really. And they think so little of themselves um, because they got convinced by somebody else that um, it just kind of like bleeds into everything. But once you really take back your power and you start a really, you know, creating ma like literal magic overnight, 
you, you never think that it's hard again because it isn't. It's hard is living without a solution. Hard is buying into powerlessness. Hard is trying to make it difficult, right? When it really is not and not understanding how to create it easily, right? That's very hard. I agree. But solutions and magic and manifestation overnight, that part is easy. So again, if you need me to explain it to you, if you need to embark on um, into coaching with me, all information from me is below. Again, I recommend that um, you spend at least two to three months with me for the full understanding of how to be um, in control of your life, how to manifest easily. But you can always, we can always converse for an hour. You can tell me your story. Uh, we can go over things. And I really want you to be comfortable. Um, I mean, now more than ever, after this experience, I really want to stress, you need to choose a coach who resonates with you. Um, this is why I mean, I've put my entire life on, on my channel. I mean, some parts I've kept it to myself. It's not really relevant. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about my entire, you know, um, love life, let's just say, currently on, on the internet. I don't think that's anybody's business. Um, but essentially I've put a lot of information about me, um, because I wanted people to know that I'm transparent and I want you to be comfortable with me. And I want you to understand that it's very important to trust a coach, um, because you're trusting, um, the coach with a lot of your personal information. Um, and, um, I definitely am aware of it and I respect it. Right. But at the same time, I, as a coach, you know, again, have to be respected and, um, there's, there's certain ways of, um, you know, understanding that, right? And, and behaving that way in order for the relationship to be productive. If you have any questions, please email me directly. Um, otherwise, um, I'll see you next um, during my live on Saturday. I might record before that. Um, I have some ideas, but definitely mark your calendars for live at 3 p.m. We're going to discuss energy at length as much as I can. Again, a lot of it I discuss in my coaching, and it's you know virtually impossible for me to discuss it um, unless it's like one-on-one -on -one in coaching for it to really make sense. But we'll discuss energies and empath and, and magic spells. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, all the information from me again is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.